ladies and gentlemen, there is a more serious famine, and that is something I call a spiritual famine. Now, Amos prophesied that a time is coming where the word of God, people's desire to listen to the word of God, there will be starvation. One of the things missing in our generation is the presence of God. Our churches have become social clubs, warehouses, rather than the place where God touches the life of people. Institutionalism, being accustomed to the, the same way of doing things, has eroded the weight of God's presence from the church. So there are preachers in the church who don't go to God for messages anymore. They have become lecherous instead of men of God. A man of God is not a title. A man of God is somebody that has audience with heaven. So in our generation, it is very easy to call yourself a man of God. As a matter of fact, when you walk in this generation and you are frustrated, it is easy to say God has called you. So we are people behind the pulpit. We are people holding microphone and they are singing. We are people ministering in the house of God and their presence is lacking. John walked with Jesus on the earth. As a matter of fact, John was the one who wrote and said that he puts his head on the laps of Jesus. But when he saw Jesus exalted on the island of Patmos, he never knew him. One of the things that is leaving the church is the presence. A Bobobo drumming group is not even more powerful than our churches. That is why in our churches, people spend their time dancing and sweating. When it is time for the word, they are sleeping. God, why is it that if God is with the church now, why is it that this the church has become so powerless? If God is with us, why are there so men of God need to go to fetish priests to get idols to plant in their church for the church to go? The word of God's presence has left the church. The church has got to a place where people can bring their tithe and it is not the real 10% and they still come and put it before God and still thank God is 10%. The church has gotten to a place where the church will sit on television and be debating with fetish priests. But Elijah didn't have that kind of time. People like Archbishop Idahosa didn't have that kind of time. He appeared on television with a witch who was a secretary to the witch. He asked him, are you a witch? The guy couldn't answer. He asked him again, are you a witch? He said no. He said if you are said yes, you are dying. Because the Bible said I suffer not a witch to live. You will die on national television now. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Where is that power that was in the church? That reference was given to the church. But today, I came to preach to somebody that God wants to use you to extend his power to the generations. Our churches have gotten to a place where even during worship, people have two kilograms of chewing gum in their mouth. But I came here as a Zoom lion preacher to tell somebody that we are going back to the days. Just put a banner here and say, needed in the city, tied in the village. Before you get there, the place is fuller. But I will put a banner there and say, this nonsense must stop. People are all over the place. Put a banner there. Who stole my wedding gown? People are there. But listen, I was praying to the Lord and I told the Lord one day, I don't want to preach to people that are only leveraging and interested in my gifts. I want to preach to people and I want to show people who will be closer to you. They will know you. It's not every prophet that will want you to know God for yourself. A lot of prophets will want you to depend on them. I don't want you to depend on me. I want you to know God for yourself. People can break through their church and steal instruments and nothing will happen to them. People can be on social media and be insulting their church and nothing will happen to them. Why? Because the word of his presence has left the church. But I came here as a Zoom lion preacher to tell somebody that we are going back to the days where the fire fell. We are going back to the days where we are in church and we are not looking at our time. We are going back to the days where we are worshiping God and we don't care about our makeup. We are going back to the days where we are lying before God and we don't care who is my ass. And I prophesy to somebody in the name of Jesus that before this meeting is over, you will be reconnected to the power source and something about your life will change somebody shout yes